You have under your roof, my dear, one of the most remarkable lunatics of all time. As a transvestite fetishist bisexual murderer, Dr. Prentice displays considerable deviation overlap. We must institute a search for the corpse. We might get necrophilia, too, as a kind of bonus. <laughs> Would you confirm, Prentice, that your wife saw you carrying a body into the shrubbery? Yes, I have an explanation for my conduct. I am not interested in your explanations. I can provide my own. Where is your secretary? I've uh, given her the sack. He's killed her and wrapped her body in a sack. The word association is very clear. <laughs> I haven't killed anyone. The person my wife saw wasn't dead. They were asleep. He hopes for a resurrection. There's a link here with primitive religion. Why have you turned your back upon the god of your fathers? I'm a rationalist. You can't be a rationalist in an irrational world. It's irrational. Was it your intention to wear these for autoerotic excitement? No, I'm a perfectly normal man. His belief in normality is quite abnormal. Was the girl killed before or after you took her clothes off? She wasn't a girl, he was a man. He was wearing a dress. He was a man for all that. Women wear dresses, Prentice, not men. I won't be party to the wanton destruction of a fine old tradition. Did you change clothes with your victim before it died? Nobody died. The person you saw was a policeman who'd taken an overdose of narcotics. Why was he dressed as a woman? He was naked when I found him. A dress was readily to hand. Where were his own clothes? A boy had stolen them. The time has come to call a halt to this Greco-Roman hallucination. Is there a straitjacket in the house? Modern methods of treatment have rendered the straitjacket obsolete. I am well aware of that. We still use them nonetheless. Do you have one in your possession? Well, the porter has a few. We can take no chances with your husband in his present condition. Is this another of your plots to undermine my reputation for sound judgment, mm, you treacherous harpy? You've caused a poor girl's death, darling. You may be called upon to accept a period of restraint. But Miss Buckley isn't dead. Produce her then and all your difficulties will be over. I can't. Why not? Because you're wearing her dress. You surprised me this morning making an ill-timed attempt to seduce her. If we are to save our marriage, my dear, you must admit that you prefer boys to women. You'll find me quite tolerant. In fact, I know a number of charming youths. I could pass a few of the younger ones on to you. It would raise the tone of our marriage considerably. I won't have you making scandalous allegations in a matter of which you know nothing. The page at the hotel accused you of behaving in an indecent manner. That wasn't a boy. It was a girl. Admit that you prefer your own sex to mine. I've no hesitation in saying that I do. You filthy degenerate. Take your clothes off. I won't beat me. Do if you wish. Your psychotic experiences are immensely valuable to you and you'll be encouraged rather than thwarted or depressed. Ah! 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 Oh, my darling! This is the way to sexual adjustment in marriage. Ah! 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 Oh, Doctor! During your absence, my husband became violent and struck me. Did you enjoy it? At first. But the pleasures of the senses quickly pall. Was there an attempt to destroy these flowers? They fell during the struggle. You are aware of the plant allegory? The rose is a common cipher for a woman. He intended to do you harm. Yes, I was beaten until I was nearly senseless. Oh, that was a mere physical act with no special psychological significance. We must lose no time in putting Dr. Prentice under restraint. We shall need help with the enterprise. Have you no brawny youth upon whom you can call in times of stress? I'm a married woman, Doctor. Your suggestion is in the worst of taste. I'd like a word with you, Doctor, about my brother, Nicholas Beckett. I've just arrested him. Your sleep won't be disturbed tonight, my dear. Life is full of disappointment. Did you see Dr. Prentice in the garden? 